I'm Justin Cave and this is Groundbreakers. You want challenges? On today's project, we got them. We're talking hundreds of tons of concrete and stone, thousands of gallons of water, a buried gas line that supplies half the country, and moving an entire house. Kind of. It's going to be a big one, and it starts right now. Rhett, this is a really cool tree. What is it? This is a Capressus microcarpa. In English? A whipping blue ice. I call it the upside down wedding cake. The upside down wedding. I don't have too much experience with wedding cake, so isn't that usually like stacked up, one bigger than the other? Absolutely. And it gets smaller, it goes up. So the smaller part will be here, the top of the wedding cake, the beachfront entry, okay. I'm with and you. then it goes out. Um, second tier of the wedding second cake. Second tier of the shallow wedding end. cake. The shallow end okay. for the children to play in or volleyball or whatnot. And then we go into the deep end. Which, which is, is the, the last layer of the wedding cake. The last layer of the wedding cake. Okay. One of the reasons this pavilion is going up so quick is because the crew is using cultured stone instead of real stone. It looks just like real stone, however, it's man-made out of concrete. You can actually see the aggregate in this piece right here. It's about a quarter of the weight the real stone would weigh, and they're all the same thickness, so the crew doesn't have to work and hammer each piece like they would with real stone. There's a bunch of different colors and styles you can pick from. It can be used indoors or outdoors, but insulation is basically the same. They come right out of the box just like this, a bunch of random different sizes, and all you got to do is slap some mortar on it and stick it up on the wall where it's going, or as these guys like to say, lick it and stick it. You've heard about grabbing the bull by the horns. That's what these guys are doing today, except they're doing it with the bull float, and this is a tool that you use to finish the concrete. You need a long one because we've got a big basketball court here, so basically he's pushing it forward and all the weight's on the back end of the float. They've got it in the air, they've cleared the fence and the tree, now they've got to get it on the trailer that's going to get it to the new house. Today the coping is going on the pool. This is the brick. It's bullnosed on this side, meaning it's curved, and it's going to be a lot more user-friendly when you get in and out of the pool. Also, each brick is the same size, so they're going to go in a lot quicker than stone would. Each piece of stone has to actually be hammered into place. After the coping goes in, the tile is going to go in. we got a nice, pretty blue tile that's going to go in all the way around the circumference of the pool. This is going to be the end result, nice and clean. There's a few tricks that you can do to get a good design element, and one of them is using plants of the same species, just different varieties like these ferns, for example. This is a shield fern and an autumn fern, and you can see the difference between the two. The autumn fern has a much broader leaf with kind of a brown tint to it. This is one of my favorites. This is a Japanese painted fern. It's a little bit smaller, but it's got a nice deep purple color to it. The stonework's going on right now, and this is an age-old craft. It takes up a little bit of time, but the natural stone gives it a really good look. They're doing a veneer. A stack would be when you actually stack the pieces like this, and this is the final look. But a veneer is when you flip it up on end and then veneer it to the block wall. All right, Mike, I think I can beat that. I used to do the 100 dash and 4-4. Four, four. We'll right. see. Call it. And go. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Time! <laughs> now, this is a wall. This wall is actually going to encompass the entire backyard. And this wall is actually going to be doing all of the retaining and double as a privacy wall. In between is going to be a giant bamboo container. And anybody that has bamboo in their yard will tell you that it has to be contained or it will take over. And this is actually going to double as a giant bamboo jungle for the kids to run through. Now this wall, there's a lot of action happening on this wall. There's going to be a water feature, a pond, a chimney, and a bar and grill area. So this wall is doing all the work and this wall is having all the fun. Next for Leo, I'm going to make the Hawaiian. Right here, just like that. Gotta have some sauce. Bam! Won't be long now. Most important thing about pizza, patience is a virtue. If it's not there in half an hour, it's free. 